Hey guys, HDV here. Now, as we all know, Pokemon evolve. Some Pokemon evolve a lot, some Pokemon only evolve once, and of course, some Pokemon don't evolve at all. Have you ever looked at two Pokemon though and thought, hey, you guys look pretty similar to me? Well, I certainly have, and so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at a few Pokemon who have a bunch of similarities. With that being said, today's video takes a look at the top 5 Pokemon that should be related. Don't hesitate to drop a comment down below about the video and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support and I'll be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date and follow my Twitter to hear updates about the channel. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. Starting things off and taking the number 5 spot in today's top 5 video is Tauros and it being related to Buffalon. Both based on members of the bovine family, when Buffalon was revealed in generation 5, everybody assumed it was a Tauros evolution. Looking at their designs, Buffalon is essentially a beefed up Tauros with an afro. Tauros is a quadruped bovine Pokemon. It is covered in light brown fur with a thick, darker brown mane around the neck. It has a rounded muzzle with a dark brown nose and three grey bumps running vertically down its forehead. Whilst Buffalon is a bovine Pokemon with a large, dark afro on its head. Two large, curving horns, each with two golden growths resembling rings, protrude from the afro. They even share the same brown and grey colour scheme. When you look at their stat distribution, things get even weirder. Buffalon's defense, 19.4%, and special attack, 8.2%, are exactly the same as Tauros's. All of its other stats are higher, except for speed, which would make sense considering it weighs 13.4 labs more than its Generation 1 lookalike. Coming in at the number 4 spot in today's top 5 video is Venonat and it being related to Butterfree. Long rumoured to have been a mix up of names in the Game Freak offices, it's easy to see why people think the Butterfree was originally supposed to be Venomoth. In fact, pretty much every single aspect of its design matches up with Venonet. Purple coloration, bulging red eyes, two antennae, small mouthpiece with two pincers, inward pointing hands with three fingers and large feet. Likewise, the Pokemon now known as Venomoth shares several features with Butterfree's evolutionary relatives. Caterpie's bulging eyes and pointed headpiece, Metapod's patterned lower body, could such a big mistake have really been made? Or is it all just coincidence? It's definitely possible, and so for all of these reasons, Venona and its very strong resemblance to Butterfree takes the number 4 spot in today's top 5 video. Coming in at the halfway point in today's top 5 video is Love Disc, and it being related to Alone Momola. Alone Momola is another Generation 5 creature suspiciously comparable to a Pokemon from a previous game. Basically a Love Disc with extra frills, the real kicker here is that both appear to be based on the relatively unknown Discus fish. At least Buffalon and Tauros are based on easily identifiable real world animals. Coming up with two designs centred around an uncommon fish and even then failing to create some kind of link between them just seems baffling. On the other hand, unlike the bulls, their stats are a bit of a mismatch. Love Disc's speed and special defense are its highest rank stats, whereas Alomomola's are HP and physical defense. However, just for the obvious reasons of how much these two Pokemon look like each other is enough for you to think that they should at least be in the same evolution line. You'd really be helping Love Disc out too, Game Freak. It's just terrible right now. For all of these reasons though, Love Disc and its very strong resemblance to Alone Momola takes the number 3 spot in today's top 5 video. 
Coming in at the number 2 spot in today's top 5 video is Pinsir and it being related to Generation 2's Heracross. Heracross was introduced in Generation 2 as a counterpart to Pinsir. Both of them have the same base stat total of 500, are the same height at 4 foot 11 and have a mega revolution. Yes, there are other Pokemon counterparts throughout the universe, Zangoose and Survivor for example, but this one is interesting as both creatures are based on types of Beetle. Upon Generation 2's reveal, when Scyther was revealed to evolve into Scizor, it was assumed Pinsir would in turn evolve into Heracross. Whilst I'm not suggesting that that should be the case, I think this is a perfect opportunity for Game Freak to release a baby Pokemon which can evolve into either one of the two. Perhaps working similarly to the mechanic which sees Wurmple evolve into Silcoon or Cascoon. This Pokemon's evolution could be predetermined by personality value and only discovered by the player once it had reached the correct level. Also, with Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon just around the corner, could we see a pre-evolution soon? It would definitely be an awesome thing to see. And so, Pinsir and Heracross having some huge factors in common takes the number 2 spot in today's top 5 video. Finishing things off though and claiming the number 1 spot in today's top 5 video is Cubone and Marowak and being related to Kangaskhan. Cubone is the orphan child of a dead Kangaskhan, or at least it was originally. According to the theory, when a mother Kangaskhan passes away, its child uses its skull for protection. Over time, this skull fuses to its head and becomes part of it, thus creating a Marowak. From here, a female Marowak would potentially be able to further evolve into a Kangaskhan. Ok, so it's one of the more morbid theories of the Pokemon universe, but there is some evidence supporting the idea that all three were intended relations. First of all, Cubone's name in the beta versions of Red and Blue was, quite heartbreakingly, Orphan. Secondly, the glitch Pokemon M, which has the same colour palette as Marowak, can evolve into Kangaskhan. And finally, the appearance of Cubone in earlier depictions is alarmingly similar to that of a baby Kangaskhan outside of its pouch. Of course, for whatever reason, the idea was never included in the game. Perhaps because it seemed a little too dark for the intended audience, or perhaps just because of a change of heart. Since then, Kangaskhan has received a Mega Revolution, which features the Joey taking on a new form therefore dispelling any hopes of the idea being rekindled. Even so, it's still a very interesting little mystery. For all of these reasons though, Cubone and Marowak being related to Kangaskhan takes the number 1 spot in today's top 5 video. But with that wraps up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you did enjoy the video though, please leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. Like I said at the start of the video, I would also love to hear your guys opinions too on this subject, so be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I have a couple top 5's coming onto your screen in a second, so be sure to give them a watch if you have the time. And also, subscribe if you like my content. That's everything from me though, so thanks for watching guys, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.